fair and free elections are the core to ensuring a democracy. For that reason, the constitution itself sets up the formation of the Election Commission of India or the ECI. While it gives certain provisions for the formation of the ECI, certain other details are left to the parliament. Hello, my name is Anali and today we are looking at the Chief Election Commissioners and other Election Commissioners Bill 2023 which sets down the appointment, salary and removal of CECs and ECs. Article 324 of the Constitution specifies the formation of the ECI. The ECI comprises of a Chief Election Commissioner and other election commissioners. As we noted earlier, certain details like manner of appointment, condition of service and tenure were left to Parliament. Until the time Parliament makes a law, the President, acting on the advice of the central government, can make decisions on these matters. While the Parliament passed a law back in 1991 to regulate salary, tenure and other matters related to the ECI, it did not specify appointment. This meant that the power of appointment remained with the president, that is, the central government. A few years ago, multiple petitions were filed in the Supreme Court asking it to address this lack of a law. The petitioners also asked the Supreme Court to ensure the autonomy of the ECI through certain measures. In March of this year, a constitution bench came to its ruling. The court declared that the appointment of CEC and ECs should not be done solely by the executive. It held that a committee comprising the Prime Minister, the leader of the opposition in Lok Sabha, or leader of largest opposition party, and the Chief Justice of India would advise the President on ECI appointments. It also held that this arrangement would be followed until Parliament makes a law as mandated by the Constitution. In August this year, the current bill was introduced in Parliament. The bill prescribes a selection committee for the appointment of the CEC and ECs. The selection committee comprises the, the Prime Minister, the leader of the single largest opposition party and a union cabinet minister. This means that the committee is dominated by members of the government, which may affect the independence of the ECI. Further, the bill provides that the selection committee's recommendations will be valid in spite of an issue or a vacancy in the committee. For example, if the Lok Sabha is dissolved and there is no leader of opposition, the Prime Minister and a Cabinet Minister can appoint the CEC and the ECs. This may again affect the independence of the ECI. Under the bill, the salary of a CEC is the same of a Cabinet Secretary. In the 1991 Act, the salary of the CEC was the same as the Supreme Court judge. While these are numerically equivalent, they are regulated differently. Judges' salaries are decided by Parliament, while the salary of a Cabinet Secretary is decided by the Central Government on the recommendation of the Pay Commission. This may allow government greater control over salaries. For more updates, you can follow us on Twitter. For all things legislative, visit prsindia.org.